Howard Brown, you know the name Howard, the man from the Halifax adverts. Well, he's made his musical comeback this week after releasing <laughs> a new protest song titled What Happened, which uh, questions some of the big changes that we're seeing in our society. Uh, many people call it wokeism, extreme political correctness. Howard says it's not an anti-woke song, but he just wants to have a conversation about what's happening to our society. Howard previously hit out against this culture following the decision by Halifax, the bank, to introduce pronouns on employees' name badges. He described the decision back then as disgraceful and said that Halifax had got it wrong. His latest swipe at the utter madness sweeping the nation includes dancers from the English National Ballet and Leo Kirst, the comedian and TV <laughs> news presenter, as a six foot seven transgender unconscious bias trainer. It's worth a watch. What happened? Everybody's scared of being attacked. What happened? Suddenly opinions are now facts. What happened? Seems we're descending to new lows And me glasses are still slipping down me nose Something's just never changed Me glasses are still slipping down me nose I hope they don't make that illegal I said my glasses are still slipping down me nose Don't want to be cancelled well, he's a star all over again. I watched the whole video last night. Check it out online. It's hilarious, but it's powerful as well and sparks a great debate. And I think it's a good tune. Uh, Howard Brown, welcome to GB News. Hi, Mark. How are you? It's I'm very well. It's great uh, to be here. I'm thrilled to have you on the programme. Thank program. you so much. Um, I love the video. I'm not just saying that. Uh, it's a great tune. The lyrics are clever. So simple question. What did happen? Well, I kind of just decided that I wanted to kind of make a fun song or be involved with a fun song. Um, and, um, I, you know, we got the idea to do it. So I thought, well, let, let, let's go with it. And it just basically highlights some of the issues that are going on today. Uh, and so for me to get the opportunity to do that and to have a little bit of fun with it and just basically say to people, it's OK to disagree, but as long as we do it in a respectful way. Yes. And that's what it's all about, because I think so many people out there at the moment are really, really frightened to speak up and say, you know, say how they feel. Um, and that shouldn't be the case. That has to be wrong. We should be able to voice our opinions, um, disagree, uh, if we need to, but just do it in a respectful way. So, uh, for example, if you don't want to declare your pronouns, if you don't want to say I'm he, her at a meeting, he, him or she, you know, they, them, if you don't want to participate in that, that should be your rights. Absolutely. I think that, that should be your choice. And I think everybody should res respect that choice. You know, I think that's what it should be all about. I don't think people should be forced into sort of taking decisions that they don't actually want to, because that's just not natural. So this song is all about kind of just highlighting those little issues that we've got out there, um, having a bit of fun with the song as well. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, hoping that people sort of just start to take a common sense look at this. And that's that's the most important thing. Yeah. Do you feel that common sense has uh, rather sort of disappeared in the it modern has. era? It, it, it really has. It's, it's a shame, really. Um, you know, I was watching a, a, a few uh, interviews over the week and it's really strange that a lot of the interviews and the debates seem to be very, very angry. There seems to be a lot of anger around. And I've noticed that myself being out and about uh, talking to people. So for me, it was important just to kind of put something out there that could kind of hopefully lift people, give them a little bit of the confidence. But, but you, you, you're careful to say it's not an anti-woke song, yeah. but I guess you're railing against extreme political correctness. Absolutely. I, we, you know, we, what we're saying is, look, it's OK to have an opinion. It's OK to disagree and have an opinion, but we can be respectful at the same time. So are you rejecting the idea that Shakespeare is problematic or that... Winston Churchill was some kind of monster. Absolutely not. Or that British history is something to be ashamed of. Uh, Are those well, the things? No, no, not at all. I know a lot of people may think that, and that may mm. be their view. That may be their, that's not my view. You know, these are historical figures. They're, they're there for a reason. Mm. And I think people, whether you agree with them or not, you should respect it. Statues being torn down, what's your view on that? <sighs> Do you know, I, I, personally, I think it's wrong. I don't think anybody should deface anything. I don't think anything, anybody should do anything that's illegal anyway. Mm. So for those sort of things to be happening, they, they have to be wrong. It, it can't be wrong to sort of pull down a statue. Uh, what about racism? There is, of course, racism in our society, in every society, the most evil thing. But um, how do you feel about the way that race is being characterised in the kind of current political conversation? Well, it's a strange one, really, because I think so many people have got different opinions towards this. And I think what you have to try and do, I think, really, certainly for me, is, is just be true to yourself and mm. be who you are. Don't let anybody impose uh, their will onto you. Um, and I think that's the right and proper way to go about it. I know there's, there's lots of discussions about race at the moment, and I think it's right to have that debate, but mm. it shouldn't be a one-sided debate. It should be an open debate where we can agree to disagree.
So that should be the way, and it should be respected. Uh, yes. Uh, what about the Halifax? Have you, uh, have you been in touch with them? Have they been in touch with you? I sh- absolutely no. I, th- I suppose I'm still waiting for the phone call. You never know. I might get have you call. fallen out with the Halifax? Not have, at have all. They, have they disowned you after well, your position on the pronoun badges? No, because I've still got some colleagues here. I've still got some close friends. Here. Because you did actually work for the Halifax. You're I not did. an actor or anything. No, I, I, worked for them. I, I joined them in 1998, and I spent uh, 11 years working on the advertising campaigns that a lot of people may known me for. Uh, had a fantastic time. I still have a fondness for Halifax. It's, it's a great place. They gave me a wonderful opportunity. Mm. But going back to kind of the, uh, the pronoun badges, I believe that they got that wrong because the customer should always come first. And I think they lost a little bit of sight there because I know that a lot of customers out there were very disappointed when, you know, it's okay to make changes. We know that. But to, then to turn around to your customers and say, well, if you're not happy with it, close your account. Yeah. I, think, I think that's just a bit wrong. Uh, yes, that wouldn't happen on your watch if Absolutely you were looking not. after a customer. No, because the thing about Halifax we were a family and we wanted to bring our customers in as a family and that's what made it so unique um, and so for that to sort of just be discarded to me is, is a bit of a shame because yeah. we did a lot of hard work going out and convincing our customers to join us and they were loyal customers as well. Uh, do you think Halifax are worried now because you're very much the face of Halifax and, well, and you're, you're contradicting in some ways their messaging. Do yeah. you think they're worried about that? Do you know it's going to be interesting to see what they say about it. They've <laughs> created a monster. <laughs> But a friendly one. A friendly a and friendly talented one. monster. A, a friendly and one. a very handsome one as well. Well, thank you so can much. Can I say you look exactly the same as you did in the adverts ten years ago? Well, thank you so much. But I can tell you the secret to that. It is a glass of water with some lemon juice every day and then on the bike three times a week, 20 minutes. Well, it clearly works. Uh, uh, thank you. Those adverts. Uh, yeah. Did you, did you get, like, Hollywood money for those adverts? Hollywood money. Well, you'd probably have to ask my agents about that, you know. Because I'm imagining at first they just it was just your salary. Well, the funny thing about it is when I when I was first asked to do it. I mean, I'd studied music anyway, so to get get the opportunity to sing and dance, you know, in a a wonderful production was wonderful for me. So I didn't think anything about the money side of it. And strangely enough, after I did the first commission, I didn't really want to do another one because I was focusing on a career in banking. Um, But then when I was offered the second commercial, I did that. That was it. I was in love then, you know? Yeah. So they didn't have to sell... And the, did the, you the, get a proper deal after that? Well, what I, I then sort of got a, an agent then who took care Good. of all that and kind of thing. looked after it. Because I didn't really want to worry about it. I just wanted to focus uh, on... And what about the fame? Has, I mean, has that been a mixed blessing? Because you are... Howard, one of the best known men in the country. Yeah, no, no, not at all. I, I hear you still get mobbed. I'm well, not the, even joking. The funny thing about it, somebody said to me, one, one said to me, would you change it? Absolutely not. I would do it again and twice on Sunday because people have been very kind to me. Well, listen, you can do it to me twice on a Sunday, let me tell you that. <laughs> and that is a quote. Um, Howard, you're my hero. I, you so I love the song. Thank you. I love so the much. video. Um, so, uh, how can people uh, find it? Is it on YouTube? Where's yes, the it is. Place? It's on all so- so- uh, social media platforms. It's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, it's on. Um, and you just look for what happened, what happened? Howard, Howard Brown. Brown. What happened? Howard Brown. Uh, a brilliant stuff. Do go and uh, take a look at that video.